In this video, we will solve a SQL query. The question is, write a SQL query to find all the employees from employee table who are also managers. So from the question, we know that we only have one table that is the employee table. From that, we have to find the employees who are managers. So for that, we have created a table, which is the employee table. So this is the DDL command. And this is the DML, which I have used to insert records into the employee table. The two commands I will provide in the description so you can create the table. So the table name is employee. So let me query the table and let us see once again the schema and we'll solve the query. Start from employee. Oh, let me execute the query. So this is the table that we are going to use. We have an employee ID column, first name, last name, salary, joining date, department and manager ID. So the question is to find all the employees from employee table who are also managers. So we have an employee ID column and a manager ID column. So each employees are mapped to a manager. So we have to find who are the employees who are also managers. So if I take the example of the first employee, which is James, James manager is having an ID of two. That is employee ID two. That is Jessica. So Jessica is James manager. So Jessica is a manager. Similarly, if I take the manager of Jessica, that is employee with an employee ID of five. That is five. If I come down, we can see Christine. So Christine is also a manager. So we have to find all the employees from the table who are also managers. So we'll start writing the query. And from the table, we only want the first name and last name of the managers. So we'll write the query in such a way that we will only take the first name and last name. So select first name then we'll take the last name and here the technique we are going to use is self join that is we are going to join the employee table with the same employee table using two different columns that i will show so the first time we are going to use employee table and giving an alias name of a and we are going to join the employee table to the same employee table and giving an alias name B and on. So here is the tricky part where the in the join condition. So here we are going to join the employee table, first employee table and the second employee table based on the employee ID column and the manager ID column. So the condition is A dot employee underscore ID equal B dot manager underscore id so we are joining the first employee table a using the employee id column to the second employee table that is b using the manager id column so now if we run the query we will get only the employees who are also managers so let me run the query now we have an error in correct syntax near keyword from it is because i put an unwanted comma after the last name so if i remove that we should get the expected result. Now we have a second error because we have ambiguous column name, first name and ambiguous column name, last name because from both the employee table, we have the columns that is first name and last name. So the query do not understand from which table it has to fetch the first name and last name column. So before simply executing the query, what we have to do is we have to give the alias name of the table in front of the column name. So a dot first name and a dot last name and this will solve the issue now if we run the query we'll get the result so now we can see that the first name and last name of managers from the table we got that is these employees are also managers so jessica christine which we initially saw and jennifer so these three are managers from the given employee table thank you